Lambda Collaboration. Good evening, guys, and welcome to a brand new episode of All Things Lambda. If it's not evening where you come from, then, um, well, good day then, or good night. Oh, never mind. Let's just get started. A little while ago, I talked about the Zen mod for Black Mesa and how it got numerous improvements to it, making it actually look pretty decent. It is a good diversion to play until the actual Zen version comes out for Black Mesa, which could be pretty soon. Now, before I was only limited to the Steam version of Black Mesa, which is locked behind a paywall. But did you know that Crowbar Collective left the classic version of Black Mesa online for you to download? It's not up to date, but still very playable, and the developer behind the improved Zen mod sees this too. Zloikot has actually made his mod available for the mod version of Black Mesa. Heck, you don't even need the mod version of Black Mesa to play it. Just make sure you have Source SDK 2007 installed and you're good to go. It basically brings in all the improvements that Zloikot has made to his mod so far. The only thing it lacks is the engine improvements from the retail version of Black Mesa. But hey, graphics don't always make the game nicer to play. If you want to download the mod, you can do so by checking the description below and clicking on the link. Hey, remember when I said that Planet Philip has left the Half-Life community a while back? Well, it appears he had at least one more thing in store for us. A Twitter account. One that only tweeted one thing. The word good. Now, if the first thing coming up in your head is the sentence good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit system, then this Twitter account is for you. Because it's not just an ordinary Twitter, it's actually a game. The goal here is to have everybody tweet Half-Life's entire dialogue, one word at a time. It looks like they're about at the end of the train inbound sequence, so you can join in for Barney's magnificent door unlocking sentence. Mmm, it looks like it's having some problems though. It could get really finicky to find the tweet chain as they're sometimes buried beneath other replies, so it could get a bit messy. Philip has acknowledged this issue and is currently looking for another person to manage the account. Will it be you? A link to the starting tweet is in the description below. Boreal Alif is back in the news again and this time they have a full 13 minutes of gameplay to show off. In case you don't know, Boreal Alif is an Epistol 3 mod created by Keep Away From Fire and in contrast to Project Borealis, it actually still runs on the Source engine. The gameplay footage was recorded and released by Tyler McVicker from Valve News Network and it shows a whole bunch of gameplay concepts and some of the tech they have been working on. The mapping looks pretty great too, even if it doesn't really have proper texturing yet. But hey, it's in the very early stages, so what do you expect? A hug? If you want to see the full gameplay video and Tyler's amazing coverage on this, there's a link in the description for both videos. We finally have some more Source Filmmaker art. Man, I've been waiting for that. Source Filmmaker artist Edward Tuskov... Redline2311 has created some really nice looking Half-Life artwork that captures a lot of incredible atmosphere. Now, it hasn't been completely made in Source Filmmaker, Redline also used Gary's mod to cover some ground as well, and probably a touch of Photoshop. But who doesn't do that? My favorite has to be the one with the neon signs in the street. It's really just my style. Gosh, I love neon. If you want to see more artwork from Redline2311, I've put their DeviantArt page in the description below. We all know Half-Life Source. The sorry excuse that Valve keeps telling people that calls itself an attempt to port the game over to the Source engine. Well, technically Valve isn't lying, but is it really taking advantage of the new features that Source has to offer? Not really. However, developer Woody is currently working on bringing all of the original Half-Life titles to the Source engine. All of them. In one neat package. Yes, even DK is slated to be released in this package. Woody has been in development of this project since 2006. Dude, that's a really long time, but he has recently decided to restart the development on the project. Woody is also currently looking for programmers and modelers to help him out on this project. If you believe in what he's making and you could help him, go on and sign yourself up. I've put a link in the description for the ModDB page. 
Last but certainly not least, illustrator and story artist Connor Berner has created some really cool Half-Life fan characters and story ideas. I would like to introduce you to Nori Aikawa, a former City 5 resident who is currently in the Resistance. She has a current miscount level of 3, and she has multiple anti-civil violations on her belt. Oh, and I would also like to introduce you to Recon 62, but Nori just calls him Wreck. Wreck used to be a combine stabilization unit, but has since been deserviced. Apart from original characters, Connor has also made some cool reworks of older Half-Life 2 enemy concepts like the Cremator and the Guard. It looks really friggin' cool and I wish I could draw like that. Connor told us in an email that he may try to make this into a comic series or even a game in the future. But all that isn't certain yet. If you want to see all this for yourself, I recommend giving him a follow on Twitter. It's linked in the description. Oh, well, it seems we've reached the bottom of this week's content barrel. How unfortunate. But don't tear up just yet. We got some more content waiting for you on our social media channels. They're on screen right now. Join our Discord server too to keep the conversation going. Do you like the vibes I give off? Good, because I got my own YouTube channel that's awaiting your precious view. It's linked in the description together with my Twitter. It's at Farloomy. Follow me there for updates. Alright, thanks for watching episode 39 of All Things Lambda. Me and my mutated goldfish Freddy need to head off to the Half-Life content vault to fill this empty barrel back up. Don't forget to subscribe and to ring the bell icon to never miss another All Things Lambda. See you when I see ya! Woo! <laughs>